And I'm going to work on a table lamp for in that living room. It needs to be a pretty beefy one. And I was thinking of doing a cedar log like I usually do. And then I remembered we had this uh, barn beam when we lived back in Wisconsin. And there was a tornado that went through and leveled a really neat old barn. And the guy was selling uh, some of the pieces. So we actually got this uh, log and we were going to use it for our mantle in the house here, but then we decided on something else. So I think this will work out perfect. Uh, you can see the really deep check mark, but that really adds a character to it. And love the hand hewn marks. Wow. I believe this is a Douglas fir. It smells like it and it still has a little bit of the bark on here that you can see it's a pine. Uh, it's very sturdy and I think it'll look nice. Even the back side you know has the hand hewn marks too. It's about 10 inches by 6 inches which is a good size and it's 19 inches high which is uh, perfect for size. I like to try and just mock things up so I can get a visual of what it might look like and this is a 20 inch shade the shade though i think i may look for one that's a barrel shape instead of the taper on the top just because it has such a a big base um, the top shade needs to be a little bit beefier point that I really dread the most because if you drill the hole wrong uh, your whole project is done and then you got a big chunk of firewood. For this lamp kit you have to look at the size of the nipple, the outer diameter. This one's 3 8 inch. So this is a 3 8 inch wood boring auger bit. Uh, works great. Uh, what you can see though is this I'm used to making the smaller lamps. This is the taller one and it's not going to go all the way down. And that's okay because what I'm going to use from the bottom up then is I have a half inch um, auger that works really good. I need a shallow groove along the back here so I can put the cord and hide it so I'm just going to use this little Dremel cutter. I'm going to use that clear lacquer finish on it and I know you can spray it on but I'm just going to use a brush. So this will take, uh, oh I don't know, probably three coats, maybe four. I'm going to put it on pretty thin. Let's see what's what they look like when they build up. Well, that is four coats of lacquer. I know it's hard to uh, see. It's starting to get a nice shine to it. I don't think I'm going to put any more on the log itself. Where I will put a couple more on is up on the end grain because it's still soaking it up in some areas. So I'll let it sit overnight. I'll probably sand with 220 up on that top and then give it a couple more coats. Well, 
Well, there it is finished. Um, it looked really big while I was making it, but it's going to be in the corner in Kentucky between the two couches, the couch and the love seat, pretty much like it is right here. So it really gave me a good idea of how it was going to fit. Uh, the table it'll be sitting on is going to be very similar to this one. I'm going to put barn wood on it. It's got some other pine on it right now. It's actually going to be against this car siding. So it really gives me a good picture of what it's going to look like once I get it in the Kentucky house. So there's probably not too many people that take uh, photo shoots of their uh, lamps or their furniture, but I am. <music> <laughs>